I teleported here. Hello, welcome back to another Dota 2 video in which we're going to be talking about five mind-blowing tricks that you didn't realize were in the game of Dota 2 for the last seven years. Well, maybe not seven, but for a long time. Trick number one, you can disassemble Lotus Orb into Arcane Boots. And no, I don't mean the other way around, because everybody knows that if you're a hero who builds into Lotus Orb, generally the play is to start with Arcane Boots because it's an efficient early game item and then disassemble it for the energy booster and then use the energy booster component to build into the eventual Lotus Orb. But what I didn't realize is that it can go back the other way because there's no recipe on Lotus Orb. So you can disassemble this and then unlock combining on the energy booster and then boom, you have Arcane Boots. So every single time this 55 second cooldown on Arcane Boots is up, you can disassemble your Lotus Orb, use it, and then just quickly reassemble it back. And really the only cost is the amount of time that it takes you to right click all of your items in your inventory. You might think, Surely that's not that important because Lotus Orb, it already has a bunch of mana regen associated with it. That's wrong. It is very important. I looked up to see the average Lotus Orb pickup time uh, in pro level pubs, and it's at about 28 minutes in the games that Timbers go for it. Uh, if a game goes to 50 minutes, that means there are 22 minutes that you could be using Arcane Boots, but you're not. That's equivalent to 4,200 mana. That's significant. Trick number two, there are specific trees or a specific tree on each side that you can Quelling Blade behind the tier two towers, uh, where at nighttime you can actually walk behind them without being scouted by the tier two vision. So uh, one thing, one, I guess, trick that sets up for this one is knowing that tier two vision on the uh, towers is actually bigger than the tier one vision on the towers at nighttime. And so as a result of this, if you try to, you know, walk this way, for example, you will be seen by the tower, even though you're not within the tower range. Uh, however, on both sides, there are trees that you can cut. And the reason that this is important is because sometimes you go for some smoke play where you run through the bot area, you look through the entire enemy jungle, nobody's there. And so you're like, fuck it, they're in their triangle. We need to make our way there and gank them. And so the way to do that is through behind the tower. But if you do that, you're going to be in vision. So what do you do? Uh, here, you just walk into here and you cut this tree, walk towards the tier one tower, and you're not seen here. And I can show you by putting on normal vision. See, this guy is not seen here. And so you can walk all the way up to the high ground and you are not uh, scouted by vision as long as you hug the right side you will be able to get up on the high ground and gank the enemy carry on the flip side it is similar except the tree is in a little bit of a weird position you walk into this little tree path right here into the tower range so you know technically if somebody's standing right there they'll see you but it's very unlikely you cut this tree right here and then you hug the tier one tower vision uh, well there's no vision you hug the tier one tower range and then walk up into the enemy triangle and it's going to be the same thing you can actually Kill the enemy carry this way if they're just sitting farming ancients. Trick number, I forget what number we're on. Uh, the ancient has much larger vision than anybody realizes. And I suppose this is more of a PSA than a trick. But look at this base that I've completely cleared of all of the little towers and all of the big towers. And still, I'll move this guy out of here just to show that he's not giving any vision. Still, you have vision of the entire base, and that's because the Ancient has this massive vision bubble. Uh, I believe it probably has the biggest vision in the game. And so to, you know, show to the different types of players in the world uh, why this is important, uh, if you're a support player and you're trying to do these little high ground wards in the base, which I'm sure if you're a support you've done before, and then the enemies deward you, it's like, well, why the hell did they do that? It's because, dude, they literally saw you because the Ancient gives this little bit of vision onto the ground. So if you're going to do this, you want to walk from behind trees to put these high ground wards up here because otherwise they're going to see you, uh, even if they have literally their entire base uh, missing. As a core, uh, probably the most relatable situation where this happens is if you're trying to fountain dive the enemy team and you're like hiding in these trees here. And so like you, I don't know, you, you like go in here and there's some dude over here and it's like, well, how the hell does he see me? And he catches you. Uh, it's because this guy is giving vision of you. This fucker, it gives massive vision. Trick number four, placing your obs and sentry ward in the same spot. 
uh, exact same spot, so that way it's harder for the enemy team to deboard you. And I'll show you what I mean here. So what you want to do is walk up to a high ground or wherever the hell you want to ward, uh, place your sentry ward first. The only reason you do this is so that way if there's a ward already there, you get the deward, and then you place your observer ward uh, second, and you do that without moving your mouse at all. And what this results in is both your sentry and your obs in the exact same location, and because of this, when the enemy support comes up to right-click this, uh, obviously they want to deward the obs ward first because that means that they're going to deward your vision, which makes it harder for you to fight. So if they come up and they right-click this, maybe they're going to get unlucky, and then they hit the sentry ward first because they're exactly on top of each other, and so it requires them four hits instead of two hits to kill your observer ward, and so they're wasting more time doing it. Uh, I've tested this a lot, and it seems... Pretty random what comes first. It doesn't matter what order you place the obs or sentry in. It's just random what the enemy support is going to right click. Trick number five, and this is probably the most OP one that should probably get fixed. Uh, you can see when enemy players are warding, even when they walk out of vision. And so what will often happen is you see some enemy support running through your vision like this. You click on them, you see that there's an OBS warder in their inventory, and it's really obvious that they're about to go ward. So what you want to do in this scenario is box select them, highlight their hero, make sure not to click to any of your teammates or yourself, because if you do that and they walk out of vision, you're not going to be able to reselect the enemy. And so you can see if this guy walks out of vision and I still have him selected, I still get to keep him selected, even though I can't reselect him if I were to uh, choose my hero or something like that. And then what'll happen is you can see in the inventory that he has this observer ward there even though he walked out of vision and when he places it it will actually disappear but only if you were highlighting him when he uses the ward and so what you can do is like if i see this guy walk out of vision here and slowly walk towards this cliff and then immediately the ward goes missing well it's fairly obvious where the ward was placed right and so that's what you want to do you want to basically use where they were heading, how fast they were moving, and kind of triangulate where the ward would be based on that information. And it's usually pretty easy to do as long as you have the wherewithal to select the enemy hero when they're walking through vision, and then don't deselect them until you see that ward disappear from their inventory. That's it for this video. I'm giving one Dragon Claw hook away to somebody who is subscribed and types poo in the comments below. Sorry, Mom.